All right, Nine Tails on the mic. Joining me is Starman. Yes. And we're going to be commentating Smash 4 singles and finals! <laughs> this is the best of set between Vivith the Great, who has come in on the winning side of the bracket, and Kaito Kun, who has come in on the losing side. This means Kaito Kun needs to win two sets. Absolutely, and Kaito Kun is showing fantastic play in reactionary as well as read throughout the tournament. Yeah, he has a very good up close and personal game, I feel like. Absolutely, so the Bowser pick, I'm not sure how that's going to fare because obviously the only one to play Bowser is Vivid. That up B just barely blended in the platform and looks very nice. It's all about style. <laughs> you get to grand finals, you have to do it with style, win or lose, win with style. Yep. And so the other thing that Kaito Kun does with this link is just the most insane bomb game of all times. That is absolutely true. Our grab release attempt is going to kill oh, Kaito Kun. What? I play the wall. No. <laughs> grab just like release. melee. That looks like freaking. Oh. That looks like four glory. He me. just dropped him off the edge. That looks like that looks like going online and playing four glory. Like yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna say bad things, but that just didn't look good. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, but Kaido Kun yes. not letting it get him down, coming right back into it, and not taking much damage. Absolutely, he is. Oh! <laughs> Spot dodge is right at the moment it's actually happening. Oh, nice. and that he gets the backwards hit from the upbeat. So it's a fantastic play that coming down from below just for the spin and like you say, the upbeat is just what, what a great play coming from down below like that. It's yep. something that you don't expect. Yeah, and you run you run the risk of getting spiked whenever you do it. Exactly. Not that Bowser has that great of a spike to be honest though. It's a suicide spike, so it's not one Bowser would use ever. Oh but if catches him. Oh and that is He pulls out team. the get up option. Absolutely. And He's been winning games as Bowser extremely fast. Mm -hmm. and Which is weird because Bowser's not that fast of a character. <laughs> yes, but he certainly, certainly... Um, Churro. Churro. Or Summer Heat. If one of you could t take apart my setup, that'd be cool of you. Yeah. Just take it, Just take all the part components apart. Thank you. Looks like he might be going with the Shulk once again. Uh, so going to sacrifice those bombs, which didn't seem to be helping him at all. Yeah, so Shulk has been Kaito Kun, formerly CLL's longtime main in this game. And he's been trying to pick up other characters to get really good at them. And on some level, he has confidence in those characters over Shulk. But it seems like Shulk is still his comfort pick in the end right now. Right, and as we saw from the last game he won, it was, it was very convincing. Obviously, he has a mastery of the character. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, the, it's still at this time the character he's put the most hours into. Let's put it that way. So, in the hyper mode, uh, in the hyper jump mode, a lot of Shulk's strings actually become true combos, and he looks like Sheik. He'll be like, fair, 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 and it's really? true because, in, because he has so much air movement in that hyper mode. I, uh, I've seen Shulk played a few times, and I absolutely love the versatility. Yep. Uh, how you can play it into, into, into almost anything. Um, I don't know of any really strong characters. Yeah. Oh, wow. And it looks like Vivith calls out all of uh, CLL's jump moments he jumps. Like, CLL's taking that jump off the ledge option, and he tried to jump right there to get over Vivith, but Vivith knew every single time. Yeah, I was really inspired. Great predictions. Oh, wow. That I thought that was going to be Keikun getting, like, slammed by Bowser's butt. I, I yeah. thought that was Bowser's play there, yeah. but uh, Kaiju says, nope, this one's mine. Yep. But... The return is just as good from Vivith. Wow. Can he even make it back from that? Nope. No. Wow. King Tsu goes over just like that. Vivith rolls in the background. Yep. He lost his, or he used his jump mid stage. And then Vivith uh, just fair stringed him. Like, like, that was like the Bowser pulling the sheet there. It, was, it wasn't so much that it was true, though, as much as it was that uh, Kaito Kun kept air dodging at the wrong time. Thinking Vivith was coming in, and Vivith punished it with another fair. And he ran out of jump. So Kaiju Kun now going to his third character of his top three characters, the Wii Fit Trainer. In my personal opinion, this is the hardest one for me to beat. But that Kaiju Kun uh, thinks that certain of his characters are better than others, and he doesn't think Wii Fit's actually his best right now. But we'll see. Maybe it'll work against this Bowser. We'll see, because. Um, I'm sure, I, I think it's very smart that what, what Kaito Kun is doing is he's got to keep rotating through. He knows, you know, okay, that's not going to work, that's not going to work. Rotating through, I think, is very smart 
if you realize that was as good as I can play on that character. Yes. Yeah. Uh, definitely a small piece to switch it up, and it looks to be working so far. Much better percentage here. Well, I say that, and Bowser gets the suit, as you mentioned, looks right. Great custom. Yep. Um, that jumbo hoop seems to have a lot of punish uh, opportunity on the landing leg portion of it. When, it, when you come back to the ground, she has to do a little gymnast, like, haha, I, I stick the landing kind of thing, and like, characters can get a punish on that. So that seems to be the jumbo hoop weakness. But Bowser not being too incredibly fast might not be able to get Yes, but Vivid being a really good player, he was able to do it the last time I saw it happen. Okay. And that's going to be it. That jumbo hoop, again, sacrificing the vertical recovery. And, uh, yeah, the swap. Kekun tries for the. Oh, wow. He got the that up there. Well. Yeah, definitely. Um, this is looking quite yes. one sided. Although there's no platform, so. Oh, yeah, it's not as one sided as you might think. If, uh, for instance, if Kekun picks up a stock right now, or anytime very soon, he's not that far behind. That's true, that's true. It's definitely the, the closest the games we've watched so far, but it just seems it's like... It's mentally in Vivo's favor, though, because Keiko is the one who needs to take action. Oh, wow. But he did. Well, there we go. There's the action he needed to take. <laughs> Let's see if he can continue on that course of action. Yep. He is down only by 31%. And Weepit Trainer is one of the few characters who can uh, heal of her own accord. Really? Yeah. Uh, oh, the king is in the building! Oh, this was a forward smash. Kekun does live it. Oh, I didn't think he was going to, but... Makes it right did now. you see the little gymnast stand, right? I did, yeah. yeah. That's the moment of weakness. There it is. No, but he uses Vivid it! Picks up on it. Punishes it. Yeah, 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 I'm saying Bowser, he's a slow champ, but no. Boom, right there, <laughs> yeah. right when he needs to be. Just came in and drop kicked. Exactly. Just like, oh, I'll take that. It was like, your back's a little too straight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can break that. Oh wow, but uh, KK picked up the header spike, but then Vivith was able to survive it. Wait, oh, yeah. Uh, and... I'm waiting for the grab. Oh, an unsafe back air, Vivith was unable to punish. Oh. And the oh. up smash as it pops out of the ground. Kaito Kun is not going to let himself get 3 0'd. No, not 3 0'd. As you, as you mentioned, hardest for you to beat. Apparently, also the hardest for Bowser. Yeah. For Bowser, yeah. Because, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, when you watch this later, Kaito Kun, let me just say, like, my vote is still on We Fit for your best character right now. Maybe your other characters get better and more work, but, you know, We Fit. That's my opinion. <laughs> That's my opinion. And it's only an opinion. Whatever kind of goes comfortable with this. But he's going to go Looks like he just got comfortable with it. <laughs> His comfortability level has just gone up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he says, okay, that is, I see what I need to do. All right. Good combos by Kaito Kun. But uh, this breaks them with a nice way. Yeah. And, uh, it's definitely, it feels kind of awkward. Bowser's not able to get a lot of the manhandling that he really likes to. And, um, definitely just looking Yeah, Vivid hasn't let himself get command grabbed all too much. Exactly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the funniest little dance I've ever seen. It is. It was just like jumping back and forth and Bowser just like running behind. He must have been trying to find an area to land where he wouldn't be. Right. I was, I was personally thinking he should go for the edge. Right. That could, that's also presents its own risk. There's a moment where you have to fall past Bowser to get some wedge, so. Right. Percent lead is in Vivid's favor. Right. But not quite too terrible much. No, not at all. Oh, tries for the header spike. Gets a nair and a back air for stock. Charges that sun citations. He's saying good morning to the sun. <laughs> I don't know if he'll be saying good morning to anybody. <laughs> so, we fit's healing moves are actually that uh, deep breathing. When she completes successfully activates her deep breathing, she gets back 2%. And when she shoots a fully charged sun salutation, she gets back 1%. So, it's not much, but you know. It could be enough. Yeah. And it makes it so that every time you check your, your character's specific. Oh, that's oh. it. That's it. 
At least bounce I guess the section. Yep. Kun is still working on the lead. Um, so that since that does make it so that um, you know every time you check your character stats, uh, your character specific stats, uh, it seems like Weef and Trainer always has the most damage healed first place over all the other characters by quite a large margin. Oh, and he misses that up smash uh, on the release about that time. Makes the grab, but not high enough potential this to make it work. And obviously no platforms, which is definitely not really in favor of battles we've seen. All of them use that a bunch. Yeah. Yeah. Jumping up onto those platforms. Yeah. Yeah. I love the I love the physics of this game. You smash them down and they just go flying. Out. Yeah, it makes. Uh, oh, so that up air, not quite enough to finish it. You should have deep breathed. Yeah. So we fit kill throwers are up there. That's what we just got to watch out for now. But he's going to try to get him on stage instead. Oh, is it enough? No, that was a not. good play, and then he managed to escape it. What? He, oh, the there back we air. Go. Wow. So what? Kaido Kun did there was he uh, he launched the sun salutation, oh, forcing oh, Zenith to air dodge, then ran off the edge to try to catch the end of the air dodge with a spike. He almost had it, and it would have been so cool if he did. But he still got it with the back air, so. Yeah, he did. So, but that's the thing, you know, you can't get stuck on trying one thing. He's going to try that, and it doesn't work. Instantly, he's on his knees. And now the question becomes will we see the bracket reset? Will, will we see Kaito Kun will take a set off of Vivith the Great? I don't think a set has been taken off him today. Oh, I don't know if a set's been taken off of him ever. So by um by Oregon players. Right, so Kaito Kun possibly making history here. Right. He's the best shot that I've seen except for when Jax has played earlier and uh Vivid was commentating his own game. Yes. A little bit of a of a excuse for him too. Exactly. So it wouldn't have been a really complete one, but now there's absolutely no excuse for Vivid. Yeah. Unless he blames Pizza. <laughs> Well, um, Kaito Kun really picked up the lead this game. Absolutely. Vivid, um, not going his main, he's been opting to go that back air almost killed. He's been opting to go um, Bowser the whole time. So um, if you see the bracket reset, I bet we'll see the mark switch to Mario. Absolutely. And uh, we're seeing so much here, but Kaito Kun is just adapting so well. That Mm. The comfortability, you can tell right there he's comfortable. The way he just kind of stands there, he's really anxious to be moving around. Yeah, yeah. He just he knows he's got this. Yep. He just keeps it. the same rotation, the same skills go back and forth on that one. Oh, it's that The it. sun salutation heals 3% by doing that kill. He's saluting the sun and the sun returns a KO. Yeah. Yeah. So, still down on 66%. Yep, 60, 65 actually after firing that sun salutation. <laughs> <laughs> With a spam the sun salutation, man, only 55 more. Oh, oh, and he gets the berry and the punish for it. Oh, look at this. This is fit, it's looking so good. It is. So fit. <laughs> Definitely uh, been exercising this one quite a bit. Oh, where's the. Oh! And that's what I was talking about. Going for the ledge is a risk because yep. you can get caught on the way down. But he still has a possible advantage here if he can just make this work. But Bowser seems to be taking the inside edge there, mm -hmm. guarding a little better and trying well, to. What we're seeing right now is what's called uh, Vivid has stage control. He's the one controlling the space of the stage. Kaido Kun's struggling to try to get his foot in. Right. All right. Coming down to the last moments here. Nice. Yes, oh, oh, the back air. Oh. Back air. Vivith will not drop the set. He does win. Smash for a The grand finals come through. They do not disappoint. The king is indeed in the house and has made his appearance.